Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anne. Yeah. Okay. How so, about you today? I'm good. What about you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So since you are fine, let's proceed with our lesson, Anne. Are you yes. ready for that? Okay. Yes, I'm Let ready. Let me share now. the presentation just for a moment. Okay. Okay, I hope you can be able to see it, Anne. Yes, I can see it. Yeah, very good. Okay. So last time or yesterday, just only yesterday, right? So yesterday, we were able to match each word that uh, from A to H with the definition 1 to 8, okay? Now, yeah. I will be saying the 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 word on and you were going to tell me the definition of it okay yes okay so what do we mean by a credit voucher um a credit voucher is a, a piece of paper from a shop that allows you to allow you to buy goods up to the value shall okay what about a refund um, yes, a refund um, is either money you receive when you return something. Okay, that's correct. What about when you say to exchange? Um, to exchange uh, is to change some things you post for something else of similar value. Okay, that's correct. Okay, a receipt. Um, a receipt is a piece of paper you receive that shows what you post, when and how much you paid. Okay, correct. When we say an extended warranty. An, an extended warranty um, is a warranty that last longer than the normal period. Okay, can you say guarantee, Anne? Guarantee. Yes, so it's it's going to be a ga, okay, not a gua, okay? But when I we guess. are, yeah, but when we can, uh, wh 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 when we see that one, it spells as gua, okay? But in pronouncing that, that would be ga, guarantee, okay? Okay, guarantee. That? That's correct. Okay. Now, when we say faulty, um, faulty is uh, e, uh, an adjective that's describing an item which is not working correctly. Yes. Okay. So there would be a problem in it, right? So that's faulty. Next, to haggle. Um, Huggle. Um, huggle is to negotiate. 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 No, negotiate. Negotiate. Yes, that's negotiate. correct. Negotiate. Ah, yeah. Huggle is to negotiate. The piece of something before buying it. Okay, the price. Okay, so to negotiate. Yeah, negotiate the price again. Uh, and Nego negotiate the price. price. Of something. Price of something before buying, buying it. it. Okay, that's correct. And the last but not the least, a bargain. Um, a bargain is uh, something on sale at a much lower price than normal. Yes, okay, so that would be a bargain, bargain, right? Um, as you can see in the mall, there would be bar sa bargain sale, right? So it should be, it's, it's going to be a sale, okay? It's going to be much lower. The price is much lower than the normal one because that's on sale, right? Yeah. And, okay, that's why, as you can see in a big mall, you can see in there, 
we are on sale. So that means the items there or some of the items in that mall um, is on a bargain. Okay, it's a bargain. It's on sale. Okay, and now yes. let's listen to eight statements in here. Okay, so for it uh, for each statement, let's try to tick who think is speaking. Is it the customer or is it the shop assistant? Okay, before we have to listen to that, and let me ask you a question. Yes, Who do course. you think would be the customer? What is a customer? Uh, the customer is the person uh, buys in something yes. by the group. Yes, so a customer is a person, okay, buying goods, okay, buying things. So that is a customer. Just like us, when we buy something, we, con we, we are considered to be a customer, okay? And do you think we can also consider ourselves as the consumer? You know what's consumer on? Uh, consumer. Yes, consumer. Uh, consumer. Yeah, customer is different. So we are also called as a customer if we buy goods, if we buy things, right? So we are called as customer. But what about when we say consumer? Uh, consumer. I don't know how to okay. tell that. Yeah, actually, a consumer can also be a person, right? So, a person who consumes, okay? Who consumes things or goods, okay? So, that would be a consumer, okay? And that's why we have to buy something in a so we are called as customer. Yeah. And then when we went home or when we, we, uh, we you got the good. Home, yeah, so when we got home, we use that product that we buy. We yeah, use yeah. the things that we buy. We use the goods that we buy. So we are called now as consumer. Yeah. Okay. And yes. yes. Okay. It. Now, what about when we say shop assistant? Uh, shop assistant is a person that uh, sell the goods. Yeah, okay. Actually, a shop assistant, we call this one sometimes as, okay, as assistants or assistant. We call this sometimes as a sales person, right? Okay, a salesperson. Oh, what, what about a salesman? Again. What about seller? Seller. Sa seller. Seller. Is, is that the same with the salesperson? When we say seller? Seller. <laughs> seller. Okay, can you spell that one, please? Uh, S. S. A. S. L. L. Okay, A. Uh, Ah, S E L L E R. Yeah. Is this correct? Okay, this is what you mean. Seller. Okay. Uh, a seller, okay, is a person selling, okay, goods, okay, or things. So that's a seller, okay? Uh, we can also call them, yes, you are right, we can also call that one as a shop assistant. So there are different kinds of calling, but I guess the, the um, what is one? The main point is if you are selling something, okay? So you may call, you may call yourself as a seller, you may call yourself as a shop assistant, you may call yourself as as a salesperson, okay? You may call also yourself as, um, let's say, for example, as a, um, aside from that, okay? Sell, uh, seller, 
shop assistant, salesperson, um, marketing, uh, marketing officer, something like that. The one who is going yeah. to market. So there would be a lot of callings, right? And okay, yeah. so let's try to listen to the conversation or, or to this particular uh, conversation, okay? So that would be 24. Recording 24. A. A friend gave me this for my birthday, but I'd like to exchange it for something else. Okay. Who do you think would be speaking? Is it uh, a customer or a, a shop customer. assistant? Okay. A customer. So that would be a customer. Okay. Why is it a customer? What's your reason? Why is it you said it's a customer? Me. I heard that uh, that uh, the person want to exchange 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 uh, something. Yes. Okay. Next. B. Do you have the receipt? Okay. Do you have the receipt? Receipt. I think a stock assistant, but oh, what yeah. the okay. receipt? Okay, receipt means it's going to be a like this, right? Uh, a yeah. Receipt is a piece of paper. So the shop assistant is asking if he or she has the receipt, mm -hmm. right? Okay, that's correct. Now let us see. C. I bought this shirt yesterday. It was a bargain. Reduced from 65 euro to 20 euro. Mm, she bought that one. So she uh, is a yeah, customer. Customer. Very good. Next, Larry D. D. I think this DVD recorder is faulty. I can't seem to record anything. Okay. I think this DVD is faulty. So who do you think is that? Shop assistant. Okay, it's the uh, also maybe customer. Customer. Too. Okay, so it's the customer, right? Okay, next, let's continue listening. E. You can't use a credit voucher to buy anything that's in the sale. Okay, who do you think is speaking? Shop assistant. It's the shop assistant. Okay, next. Oh, sorry. Oops. F. How much is the extended warranty on this plasma TV? Okay, how much is the extended warranty? So is that? So if you are asking something about the warranty, so you are a customer or a shop a assistant? Customer. It's a customer. Very good. That's correct. And then letter G. G. We don't give refunds, I'm afraid. Okay. We don't uh, give refunds. We don't give refunds. Yes. We don't. A uh, shop assistant. That's correct. Okay. Because if you are a shop assistant, so your part of your job also as a shop assistant, you have to inform also the customers the uh all about the warranty, right? Okay, next. Yeah. H. It isn't under guarantee, so we can't really help you. Okay, so who do you think is that? Yeah, I can hear that uh, the, the sound is not good. Yeah, uh, okay, but it's yeah. the shop assistant, okay? Okay, so yeah. that would be it. And okay, so remember the words customer and then the shop assistant. Okay, so do you have any questions with this, Anne? 
I'm no, no, no more. more. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So listening, that's in a shop, okay? So if you wanted to go to a shop, why is it people goes to or go to the shop? What do you think would be the reason and why is it sometimes we go to the shop? Or most of the people... I go to the shop for buy something yes. I need. Okay, so... Uh, or... Yeah. yeah. Uh, or something. All the things uh, that you need, right? Yeah. So your personal needs, right? Your personal health care. So your clothes. So we go to the shop because we wanted to buy clothes, we wanted to buy food, we wanted to buy anything or something that we need, okay? Okay, yes. so in a particular shop, okay, there would be a customer and there would be a shop Com assistant, shop okay? Assistant. Or the so-called salesperson, right? Or the yeah. sales crew. So sometimes other other shops they call that one as a sales crew or the, the sales salesperson, right? Yes. Okay. But again, uh, even if it's called as customer or, or or a shop assistant, a seller, a salesperson, so their task is just only the same. Okay. So the only difference would be their title, right? And yeah. Okay. Now. Let's try to listen to Maribel, a Brazilian au pair work, working, au pair working in London. Return an item to a shop. Answer the questions. Okay? So yeah. let's try to listen on. Recording 25. Next, please. Hello. Uh, yes, I am afraid, but there is a problem with this blouse. I bought it last week. Right. I washed it once and it shrunk. I see. Did you follow the washing instructions? Yes, I followed the instructions on the label. It's very unusual. This is the first problem we've had with the Ray Nichols blouse. Well, I'd like my money back, please. Here's the receipt. We certainly can't give you your money back, I'm afraid. What? We've never had any problems with this blouse shrinking in the past, and it's very popular. Well, what can you do about it? Nothing. I'm sorry. I think it must be a fault with your washing machine. We can't accept responsibility. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. I want to make a complaint. Mm, okay. So, she was, she was angry, right? She was mm -hmm. angry to the shop assistant because she wanted to return the blouse that she bought and she also presented the receipt, right? But the shop assistant was able to advise her that she, she couldn't be able to return the item, okay? Yeah. Because according to her, it's not, um, it's not their fault, right? Okay, so the blouse, uh, it, it does not shrunk, okay, according what to the What is the, the uh, teacher, what is the drawn? Shrunk, okay, shrunk True. means sometimes um, it, it's it's fitted to you. And then after that one, when when you was it, so it's 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 going to be small. small. So when, when you try it, yeah, when you try it uh, on the shop, so it's it's fit on your body. But when you wash them, so sometimes, uh, yeah. yeah, it's wrong like that. So it's going to be sometimes um, it's, it's, it turned to turn small. smaller, right? Yeah. To smaller. So it's how, wrong. How, right? how, how will we write it? Yeah. So maybe that's because how you were going to wash them, right? So maybe that's the reason why is it a particular blouse? is going to shrunk, right? Oh. Uh, how will we uh, uh, spell that Shrunk, word? okay. Shrunk is spelled as this one. Okay. Shrunk. 
Yeah. Uh, with an H. With an H. Shrunk. Yeah, it's a shrunk. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's try to answer. So what item is Maribel return, returning? A blouse. The answer is a blouse. Okay? Blouse. It's a blouse. What is the problem with it? Uh, it's world sprung. Okay, it's wrong. It's wrong after. It's wrong. Okay, uh, it's wrong after only one wash. One. Right? So after yeah. washing the clothes, it's wrong. I hope you can see. Can you see it? Anne? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, okay. I have to change that into red so that we can see it clearly. Okay. Letter C. Can you please read the question, Anne? Uh, he want, what? She okay. want to ask for um, money. Uh, money refund back or a refund okay so she asks for money back okay or sometimes yeah. call this one as refund right okay yes. next why doesn't the assistant agree because he sees that it's he will not uh, respond a uh, response city of the shop yeah okay it's not the responsibility of the shop anymore because according to maribe or according to the shop assistant that there okay is no fault okay with it when she bought that, right? When she bought that one. And then she thinks that maybe Maribel washed them or was it incorrectly, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the reason why is it it shrunk? Because maybe she was it incorrectly. Okay. Next. Letter E. What does Maribel decide to do? Uh, Maribel decides to make a complaint. Yes. So Maribel decides to make a complaint. Okay. So if you are the manager, and if you are the manager, are you going to refund the money to Maribel? Because no. okay, let's say for example, <laughs> if I am if I am the customer and then I have to say or I am going to to ask for the presence of your manager, okay, so that I can be able to refund the money. So if you were the manager of yeah of that of that particular shop, would you going to refund uh, yes i ask her i uh, will uh, do the same with the soft assistant that's i correct. will not return the money yes okay okay why why is it you will not going to refund because before you bought that one before you bought that one so they know the condition of that, right? So the shop assistant knew what would be the condition of that particular thing, okay? Uh, it's going to be sometimes, sometimes the sometimes the the shop assistant would tell you that oh, uh, there's a faulty parts in that particular item, okay? But yeah. if the shop assistant will tell you oh that would be nice, that would be new. There is no problem about that, okay? And then when you return that one, there would be a problem. So it's not anymore the fault of the shop, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, let's try to 
um, say them, okay? And with the proper blending, with the proper uh, intonation, because all of these are questions. So I want to hear how you were going to ask that, okay? Yeah. Okay, repeat after me, Anne. What item is Maribel returning? What item is Maribel returning? Okay. What item is Maribel returning? Yes. What is the problem with it? What is the problem with this? Okay. What does Maribel ask for? What does Maribel ask for? Why doesn't the assistant agree? Why doesn't the assistant agree? Okay, why does Maribel decide to do? What does Maribel decide to do? Yes, okay. Now, I'm going to ask a question. You are going to answer me, Anne, okay? Yes. Okay, you sing. Our answer is in here. What time is Maribel or what item is Maribel, Maribel returning? It's a blue blouse. It's a blouse. What is the problem with it? Uh, it's shrunk. It's shrunk after only one wash. Correct. What does Maribel ask for? Uh, she asks for money back. Or a refund. A right? refund. Why doesn't the assistant agree? Um, because there is, there is no font with, with it. Maybe Maribel what it incorrectly. Yeah, okay. So there is no fault with it. So there is a, there is a um, connection, right? So there is a link. So with it. So there is no fault with it. Can you say that, Anne? There is no font with, with, with it. it. With it. With it. With it. Okay. Can you say it again? There is no fault with it. Uh, there, is, there is no font with it. With it. Maybe Maribel wash it. Was it? Was it? Okay. Was so it. maybe Maribel wash it incorrectly. Maybe Maribel was this incorrectly. Okay. What does Maribel decide to do? Maribel decides to make a complaint. A complaint. Okay. Now, moving on. So, do you have any questions with this, Anne? No more, please. Okay. Now, let's try to listen again and circle five mistakes in this complaint form. The first one has been done for you. So, this one, okay. She, Maribel, is already there. Okay. Inside, maybe, the office of the of the manager or maybe they they had or they they have this particular forms wherein if you wanted to if you wanted to complain so before uh, the manager will going to see you so you need to fill out first the complaint form right and yes okay so hey wards department store complaint form cs284 Okay, so the item. The item. Okay, Ray Nicole's jeans. So that's one. It's it's wrong, right? Why this one is is incorrect? Because it's not a jeans, but it's a blouse, right? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Let's try to listen. When did Maribel? Uh, purchase the blouse. Let's try to listen. Recording 25. Next, please. Hello. Uh, yes, I am afraid, but there is a problem with this blouse. I bought it last week. Right. Okay. When she bought it? Uh, she bought it last week. Yes. Last week. Okay, so she bought it last week, not last month. So we have to encircle the month and we have to, okay, correct them. So last week. Okay, let's try to listen. So um, is there any receipt? Is it a no or a yes? <coughs> of course. Right. I washed it once and it shrunk. 
I see. Did you follow the washing instructions? Yes, I followed the instructions on the label. It's very unusual. This is the first problem we've had with a Ray Nichols blouse. Well, I'd like my money back, please. Here's the receipt. We certainly can't. Okay. So, does she has a receipt? Yes, she yes. So, She, she shows the receipt, right? Okay, yeah. let's continue. I can't give you your money back, I'm afraid. What? We've never had any problems with this blouse shrinking in the past, and it's very popular. Well, what can you do about it? Nothing. I'm sorry. I think it must be a fault with your washing machine. We can't accept responsibility. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. I want to make a complaint. Okay. So, it has shrunk only once twice? Uh, okay. Was one, once. One was. Yes, so only not twice, but it's just only once. Okay, what is the action taken? Action taken. Uh, Was she given a credit voucher given? Uh, no, a refund. Yeah, okay. The so, action taken. No, refund. no refund. Okay, or credit, credit voucher given, right? Credit voucher given so there would be no credit voucher given or no refund okay yeah. and yeah. okay good now moving on now for the speaking activity returning the items so making a complaint in a shop okay so you are you are already there and you are now making a complaint so look at this extract from Maribel's conversation in the shop. So according to the assistant, we, can you please read on? We, we can accept, accept re responsibility. Respons okay, responsibility. And according to Maribel? Well, I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. Okay. So. Notice the expressions in bold you can use when you want to complain. So what are those expressions? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that. Sorry, but. So these expressions, you can be able to use this one in complaining. Okay, and like for example, yeah. you wanted to complain for something so you have to go to the mall or you have to go to the shop and then you were going to say excuse me i'm afraid that this phone doesn't work properly okay or you may yes. going to say i'm sorry but this camera doesn't work properly or you going to say sorry but this phone is broken and i've only had it two weeks okay and Yes. Okay. So let's try to practice the conversation in here on, starting from in here. Okay. Yeah. Can you please say them correctly? You have to repeat after me. We can't accept responsibility. We can accept responsibility. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not. But that's not good enough. Well. I'm sorry, but that's enough. Good enough. Okay. I'm sorry, but this camera doesn't work properly. I'm sorry, but this camera doesn't work properly. 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 Okay. Properly. Yeah. I'm afraid that this phone doesn't work properly. I'm afraid that this phone doesn't work properly. Sorry, but this phone is broken and I've only had it two weeks. Sorry, but uh, this phone is broken and I've only had it two weeks. Okay, two weeks. Now, did you know, Anne, 
that a recent survey of 30,000 customers in 30 countries revealed big differences in how likely customers are to complain. So most likely to complain in Sweden, it's 41%. In the United Kingdom, it's 36%. In Australia, it's 30%. In Canada, it's 26 in US, it's 23. Taiwan, it's just only one. Saudi Arabia, it's three. China, four. Poland, it's five. And Russia, it's six. Now, right? Least yeah. likely to complain. Or oh, look at this one, right? Who do you think would be among the countries have the least? Okay, uh, likely to complain. Mm -hmm. uh, can you repeat the, the question? The weapons, please? Okay, who do you think? Okay, whom among? Okay, who among these countries? Okay, that have less likely to complain? Uh, less likely to. Um, Taiwan. It's Taiwan. Okay. It's Taiwan. They have only 31%. Uh, only 1%, right? Yeah. Oh, so that means out of 10, there is only one who are going to complain. And that would be good, right? <laughs> so that's in Taiwan. But most likely, people that most likely to complain are the people coming from Sweden. Sweden. Right, because it's 41%. Okay, okay, yeah, so maybe people there are so arrogant, right? <laughs> so they are very arrogant, maybe if they're not, if they're not satisfied with the things that they bought, they were going to complain, yeah. Okay, mm. so that's in Sweden, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, this, uh, uh. This person, uh, the person tell, telling what? Uh, yeah, telling maybe that... uh, the good, uh, the good, the good in uh, in uh, uh, these countries in the lab group, he uh, he less he worse he worse than good in uh, in um, in the country that's on the right column okay actually in here okay these are the countries that they the people in there are most likely to complain okay if we try to to put this one in the context maybe we can say that people in here are arrogant people because they keep on complaining right <laughs> yeah okay so just just like what i have said that maybe if they're not satisfied with the product they were going to return it okay especially in sweden okay okay yeah. people are there are are going to complain okay oh I'm going to return this one. I'm going to refund my money because I'm not satisfied with this particular product. So that is complaining. But those who those countries that who doesn't, okay, who doesn't likely to complain would be these countries. Okay, yeah. number one would be Taiwan. So, so Taiwan uh, is only one percent. So uh, people in Taiwan, yeah. Uh, not yeah not, not very com if, yes. if very com uh, comfortable yes when it comes to <laughs> buying something maybe, maybe because that's the rule because if you wanted to buy maybe that 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 would be the rules that no return no, no exchange return. policy right yeah so if you were going to buy so that would be final so you will not going to return that one anymore, even if it is uh, defective, even if uh, even if it is faulty. 
So you don't have the right to return it. You don't have the right to refund your money because you bought that, right? Yeah. Maybe that would be that one. Okay. Okay, so moving on. And for the speak up activity in here, imagine you are a customer in a shop. Use the information below to complain to the shop. Okay, example in A, you were going to say, Hello, I bought this notebook computer yesterday, but I'm afraid that the display doesn't work. Okay? Yeah. So this is how you were going to complain, right? Or you may go to say, Hello, okay? Or you be going to say, um, Good day, okay? Good day. I bought this notebook computer yesterday. But I'm afraid that the display doesn't work. Okay? Oh, what yeah. about in the B on? Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, I, uh, Radio. Post... Okay, sorry. Uh, sorry. I bought uh, the radio last week. Uh, but uh, I'm afraid that... Uh, that I'm afraid that it's, I'm afraid that it has stopped stop working. Okay, I'm afraid that it has stopped working. Okay, or the other way in saying that one is that okay, you're going to say sorry, but the radio that I bought last week has stopped working. Okay, yeah. yes, okay, next. What about letter C on? And uh, uh, sorry, but uh, a friend with you, please. For oh, your birthday. Um, uh, okay. you can do it, Anne. You can do it. Okay, go. Think of it. Okay. Okay. That's right. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, but um, the base you give me. Um, nah, not the, not the shop assistant who gives you. <laughs> it's your friend. Uh, okay. Um, Sorry, you're not, but, you're not talking. Uh, you're not talking to a friend, Anne. You're talking to a shop assistant. Okay. Hello. Um. Hello, hello. friend. Uh, but uh, I'm afraid. Uh, your voice does you give me as a gift on my birthday. Uh, it had. Uh, a problem uh, is it correct? Okay. Is it correct? So you are going to say, okay? okay. We, we're going to rephrase that one. You can say, a friend of mine bought this base for my birthday but okay i'm afraid that okay i'm afraid it's cracked cracked okay ah uh. And we talk with the shop assistant. Yes, you're not talking to a friend okay? <laughs> because you are complaining, Anne. Okay, <laughs> yeah, because you are complaining, yeah. so you're not talking to yeah. your, your I, friend. Uh, I your have friend, a okay, your friend. With, with my friend. <laughs> yeah, so you're making a complaint to your friend. Your friend already given you that base, so yeah. uh, maybe it's it's uh, what is one. It's not right, it's not proper to make a complaint <laughs> to your yeah. friend, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So you were going to say a friend of mine bought this vase for my birthday, but I'm afraid it's cracked. Okay. Yeah. Or there's another one also. Um, hello. Okay. Uh, I got this vase from a friend of mine. Okay. For my birthday, but I'm afraid it's cracked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's another one. Okay. Can you please? Tell me, how are we going to do it? Um, sentence C? No, yeah, in, in, in sentence C, yes. Let's try to give another, an, another interpretation of this, aside from this. Mm, um, sorry. Um, um, I... Um, Mm, I am um, a friend. Okay, you may say a friend. Sorry, with me. my friend give okay. me this way. This place to me for my, my birthday. birthday. Okay. What is time? Like, I'm afraid I'm that afraid that it's crap. Right? Yeah. So I'm afraid that it's crap. Okay. Oh, see? So that is also another way of saying that one time. Okay. Do you have questions with this? No. No more. No. Okay. Next. Letter D on. Uh, sorry, but um, the shoe I bought two months ago are already falling apart. Okay, okay. So the shoes that I bought two months ago were already falling apart, okay? Or you were going to say that I bought these shoes two months ago and I'm afraid that they're already falling apart, right? Yeah. And yes, okay? Yeah. So you were going to say, uh, I bought these shoes two months ago, but I'm afraid. afraid. Okay, I'm afraid that. Okay, I'm afraid that there. They're already falling apart. Okay. Yeah. Uh, something wrong again with my keyboard. Mm -hmm. Issue. They're falling apart. Okay. So yeah. I bought this shoe two months ago, but I'm afraid that they're already falling apart. Okay, next, letter E, on. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, hello. Um, I... I... Um, my new technique Right. Uh, um, I have I have bought the, okay. the new racket. I can see. Um, you can see it. Yeah. Okay. Wait for a while, and uh, I'm sorry. You can you can continue that. Okay, go. Yeah. 
uh, hello i uh, i post i have post um my technique racket but i uh, am afraid that it uh, is broke uh -huh. at the first time i use it okay so let's try to revise okay that the most simple the most simple uh revision and okay we can say i'm sorry but the new tennis racket okay um broke the first time i use it okay so that yeah. would be very simple and so i'm sorry you have to go directly to 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 what you were going to say because sometimes when you are talking to a chef assistant they couldn't understand us so it's yeah. better that we should have to go directly to our concern right so you were going to say i'm sorry but, but the my new tennis new tennis and a tennis racket okay that a tennis racket broke Broke. the first time um, i used it yes okay so you go directly to the i use it go directly to your concern okay and yes okay now let's try to practice them number one oh yeah, yeah letter a hello i post this notebook computer yesterday but i'm afraid that display doesn't work okay doesn't work okay that the display doesn't work so you have to put um something uh what is one you have to put a, a heart in it when you say that an okay so as if you are as if you are um what is one remember our lesson right you have to forcefully right you need to ah uh, yeah for right fully. yeah so you need to where is it where the term is coin forcefully because you complain right yeah okay so you need to do that one so you were going to say hello i bought this notebook computer yesterday but i'm afraid that the display doesn't work okay yeah. Can you say that, Anne? Hello. I bought this notebook computer yesterday, but I'm afraid that the display doesn't work. Okay, good. Yeah. Next, let it be. Oh, we have to write the, our answer, right? So the mm -hmm. radio you bought. So, okay, you were going to say, I, I bought okay this no i bought the radio okay i bought the radio last yeah, week. this radio last week but it has stopped okay working it has stopped working okay yeah yes and then letter c yeah okay this one is letter c so this one is b this one is c this one is uh d this one is sorry ah this one is c also another ex another another interpretation okay now, yeah. can we say that one? I bought this radio last week, but it has stopped working. But again, in order for you to become more polite, you are going to use the expression. You may say, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. You were going to use that one, okay? In order I'm for you sorry. to be more polite. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Repeat after me. I'm sorry. I bought this radio last week, but it has stopped working. I'm sorry. I bought this radio last week, 
but it has stopped working. Third, a friend of mine bought, bought this vase for my birthday, but I'm afraid it's cracked. A friend of mine bought this vase for my birthday, but I'm afraid it's cracked. Okay, another interpretation for that. Sorry, my friend gave this vase to me for my birthday, but I'm afraid that it's cracked. Sorry, my friend gave this way to me for my birthday, but I'm afraid that is correct. I bought this shoe two months ago, but I'm afraid that they're already falling apart. Uh, I bought this shoe two months ago, but I'm afraid that they're, they're, they're already falling apart. I'm sorry, but the new tennis racket broke the first time I use it. I'm sorry, but the new tennis racket broke the first time I used it. Yes, okay. Now, and this would be your homework, okay? So yeah. I want you, you just have to put a, um, put a life in it, and as if you are talking to a shop so, assistant, right? Okay. Yeah. You don't need to shout, okay? Because, <laughs> yeah, if, if you, of course, you are disappointed, right? <laughs> but um, you don't need to shout to the shop assistant. So you just have to give a little bit, a uh, little bit life in it, right? So you yeah. will say, hello, I bought this notebook computer yesterday. But I'm afraid that the display doesn't work. So you are pointing, okay? You're you are complaining professionally, right? Yeah. Because not yeah. yelling. You are not shouting, but you are just <laughs> complaining, just uh, so soft, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you were going to say, "I'm sorry. I bought this radio last week, but it has stopped working." Okay, so there is a life in it, right? Yeah. And you were going to say, a friend of mine bought this vase for my birthday, but I'm afraid it's crap. Okay? Yeah. Or you can also say, sorry, my friend gave this vase to me for my birthday, but I'm afraid that it's crap. Or I bought these shoes two months ago, but I'm afraid that they've already falling apart. Okay? Yeah. And I'm sorry, but the new tennis racket broke the first time I use it. Okay, and yeah. so this is going to be your homework. And um, of course, it will be going to be submitted next next week. And okay, okay, next week. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, do you have any questions with this? And yes, no more, please. No, no. I will. Uh... Um, rustic myself yeah. more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now let's try to go to the sound smart showing emotion. This is uh, what am I what, what am I talking just while you go on, right? So you need to show an emotion. Okay. Yeah. So the way you say something can be as important as what you actually say. Listen to this sentence spoken in two different ways. Like, for example, when you say, I saw John today. I saw John today. Okay, so let's try to listen how we were going to or how these particular uh, sentences are to be spoken. Okay, so that I, would be I, 26. That's right. Recording 26. A. I saw John today. B. I saw John today. Okay. Notice how A's voice goes up and down more, showing excitement and interest. B's voice stays very flat, making him sound bored and uninterested <laughs> okay yeah. that's why in talking if you wanted your if you wanted the person that you are talking with okay not to become boring 
Okay, during your conversation. <laughs> so you need to use the rising and the falling intonations, right? If you wanted to emphasize, if you wanted to point out something, you should have to have the rising intonation. Like, for example, I saw Jan today. You yeah. are not going to say, I saw Jan today. So as if it's just only flat. So as if you are... You are hungry. You are uh, you are hungry, right? <laughs> As if you're you weren't uh, you weren't able to eat, okay? Because yeah. of that particular um, voice that you made, right? And yeah, okay. That's why I want to hear in here how you were going to point out your ideas. Like for example, I'm sorry. I bought this radio last week, but it has stopped working. So there is rising and falling intonation. Okay, Anne? Yeah. Okay, next. Let's try to listen to number 27. Recording 27. One. Good morning. How are you? Two. Good morning. How are you? Okay. So what do you think would be that voice? Oh, look at this one. Huh? Listen to the six people. It say, good morning. How are you? Match each speaker one to six with how you think they feel. Okay. Number one, it's interested. Good morning, right? So yeah. that's interested. But what about, okay. Number two. Uh, Number two is poor. Bored. Bored. Yes. Bored. It's boring, right? Yeah. Let's try to listen to number three. Three. Good morning. How are you? Okay. Good morning. How are you? Um, maybe uh, he's tired. Good morning. How are you? It's different when you say good morning. How are Worry. you? Worry. Worried. Yes. You are worried, right? Good morning. How are you? As if you are worried to the to that person, right? Good morning. Yeah. How are you? Right? Okay, next. Four. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Five. Oops. Good morning. Okay. Good Friendly. morning. Yeah. Yes. See? Out. Or look at this one, Anne. Huh? What is I would like to emphasize is that even if you don't know the meaning of that one, by merely listening to the um, to the expression or or or, yeah. or, or the voice, okay, uh, the one that you hear, okay, from that particular person speaking, you can be able to identify if he is or she is angry, she is worried, she is friendly, right? Yeah. Okay. If she is she is interested or she is tired, by merely listening to their voice, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. How are you? Okay. Angry. Yes. So he's angry. And of course, the last but not the least, we have to listen how the voice of a tired person. Six. Good morning. How are you? Oh, see? Good morning. How are you? So He's so very tired, right? And yeah. Okay. So we have to end up our lesson in here, and we'll yeah. see each other again next week. Okay. So yeah. have have a nice weekend, and we'll see yes. each other again next week. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Okay, Thank bye, you bye. for welcome for your lesson. Yeah. Bye bye. Goodbye. See you next.